Another spiritual ancestor worth knowing is Mahavira, who lived in the 6th and 5th centuries before the Common Era, around the time of the Buddha. Mahavira is said to be the renewer of the ancient Jain religion in India, Jain, J-A-I-N. Mahavira, at the age of 20 or 30, left his home and all the comforts of life and for 12 and a half years practiced extreme asceticism, denying his body all the pleasures of life and practicing deep meditation. And at the end of that 12 and a half year period, he, like the Buddha, attained a kind of spiritual awakening or enlightenment. And the Jains say that Mahavira was so enlightened that he had an omniscience, a kind of infinite knowledge and wisdom about how every person and how the, the universe operates. For 30 years after that, he preached uh, the, the truths of Jainism, and deep spiritual truths. I'd like to lift up three of those. One is Ahimsa, the strong belief in nonviolence that the Jains are known for, avoiding harming any living thing, whether intentionally or unintentionally. And second is, and I want to get the word right, Anekantavada. Anekantavada means seeing that life, reality, and truth are always complex, that nothing is either or. Everything is always both and. That there's always a complexity beyond the surface of what appears to be reality. And therefore, we need to always be searching in reality and truth to make sure we uncover the more that's always there. And thirdly, Mahavira preached and believed in the equality of men and women. Mohandas Gandhi, the great Indian leader, was deeply influenced by the teachings of the Jain religion and Mahavira. We have such wonderful spiritual ancestors who have gone before us. And by remembering them and by uh, modeling our lives after them as far as that's possible, we can go far on our own spiritual paths. I'm Jeffrey, I'm a spiritual companion, and my website is interiorspaciousness.com.